Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. You have got Scraggy Pip today. It is about 20 past 10 and the weather is supposed to be really sunny tomorrow for the concrete delivery at the Forest School site. So thank you for everyone who has been, you know, sending good positive weather vibes my way. I very much appreciate it. Um, so the job this morning is to put some boards in the end with some uh, soil behind them to just shore up the ends a bit where the erosion over the last year or so from when the hole was dug has sort of made the hole do that more than that um so my dad's coming in a minute and we're going to cut the board to size um also need to do a bit more strimming down some of the paths just to make sure that's all sorted we need to put the toilet base in the hole but we need to empty it of water at the moment because it's filled up over the year um over the winter so we need to put that in the hole, we need to silicon seal it, we need to bolt it, put the frame on the bottom and then it's all ready to go for the concrete delivery tomorrow. Um, yeah, I have a wheelbarrow I need to build. My sister told me of a really nifty trick that she had seen somewhere, I think it, she said it was on the telly. Um, if you line the wheelbarrows that you're going to use with bin bags, tape it all on when you have finished you've got not as much to clean and there's less chance of any concrete drying onto the wheelbarrows you're using and bearing in mind we are borrowing a lot of wheelbarrows from people um that should hopefully stop the concrete from drying onto them is that my dad i just heard yeah my dad's here so i'm gonna go and make a start right did you miss it? No, I've hit it, but right on the edge. Oh, okay. Oh no, I missed it completely. Missed it completely. That didn't work, did it? No. Uh, so you want to take the screws out? No, oh, no. No, you have to unscrew them. It felt like it was going. How frustrating. Well, it's interesting that you completely missed it. Yeah. I mean, that's quite an achievement. And then just. How about if I hold that and you come round and mm -hmm. would that help? Rather than laying it down? You hold the wood, don't let me go into your fingers. Which Wait. one am I doing? Wait. Shall I go with the middle one? Yep. Is that actually going in? Yeah. Is it? Oh. Done it? But it wasn't. Yeah, we want another one there. Uh, yeah, that one. It's got a knot in it. One. Yeah, that's why it's in there because I didn't want the knotty bit. You know what we could have done? We could have just put the blocks on and screwed through the blocks into that bit of wood. No. Why not? It's not strong. Why is it not strong? Why? Yeah. Because you've got the wood's only that thick. Yeah. So you'll only be into that little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, the screws are longer than that piece of wood. Sorry? The screws aren't longer than that piece of wood, is what you're saying. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now, they do look like the leaves, don't they? You yeah. wouldn't notice them on here. Although you do notice they're leaving poop behind, so that's a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? <gasps> Something is eating the leaves. Where's all the... Uh... See, Daddy, look. These are the caterpillars coming. They're here and one here. Yeah, you're doing the, the cleaning with water and Mummy's doing that bit. Acetone. Yeah, once I do the bit water, of acetone. You yucky bit. The yucky How far stuff. can he go over there, Mum? Uh, yeah, just to the end is fine and then stop, please. Right, and I've done my bit over here. Have you done an acetone as well? Yeah, I've done acetone all the way round the edge. Dad's putting boards in the hole. No more, thank you, Pickle. That's it, so you want to aim it and get all the mud off. Don't spray me, though. Oh, no, 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 not me. You do that end. Okay, I'm just going to try and loosen some of this off. Right, come and do that end. No, not me! Do that end. Ow, ow. Oh, 
Now that is a bramble. No room for me to throw it in there. Are you throwing it in that end of the hole, Jasper? Because right. that hole there needs filling up. Yeah? yeah? Excellent job. Not letting me write my name and silly other things on it this time. No. No. We're just doing it. Not letting me play with it this time. If there's an apple left, I'll let you do some blobs. Thanks. Just doing it. Just doing it. If it could just open its wings and see what it is. It's feeling shy today. It is. Let's put it on a oh, right. Ooh. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right. I have had another thought. Oh, I don't like thoughts. That's all right. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Go. I'm just supposed to have it, yeah. guys. Heather. It does. It's a guide. That's we, good. This is real, and it should. You know, I theory line up. Hang on. Not. Are you on this end? I think so. It feels like it was. Yeah. Do you know, I remember that now. <laughs> I remember that there were guides. Well, I'm glad you remembered. Yeah. Now? Every single one's got to be screwed through the plastic, is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So we'll be doing this. Okay. 50 right. times. Yeah. Right, so then... It's got to go on there. Not. You manage? I'm getting into your sandwich. We've just been on a food run and an ice cream run and a drinks run. Okay, I have strimmed inside the willow dome, but it will eventually be a willow dome. But I've not done the rag walk because we had loads of rag walk on this site and we've got less and less of it now. And we get really lovely cinnabar moths and cinnabar, cat cinnabar caterpillars. Um, we have, this took forever, bolted all this together. Okie dokie, that's that done. Uh, my dad and Jasper put the side panels in so that when we sink it into the hole and put the concrete in it will um, not you know go off up the sides so that's that done these are other parts we need to put on when it's dried um, that's, some, that's, that's to go to the tip um, and then we need to sort this plastic out at some point as well but I'm just going to do a bit more strimming on the site. We've got a session here tomorrow. Uh, I think it's Mud Glorious Mud Session. I might just go and do a bit of strimming around the mud kitchen area, so get rid of the brambles and anything that might prickle the children, because um, no doubt that will be the focus of Mud Glorious Mud. But yeah, it's coming together. Right, there's the mud kitchen. I've strimmed around there. I've strimmed around this flower bed a bit, although it's so very overgrown at the moment and i strimmed around our herby area which is again very overgrown but my strimmer was running out so i didn't get very far um managed to do a bit of the pathway and around the inside of the willow dome under here which is a good spot to put a picnic blanket if you're on site yeah and then the paths are clear from yesterday. Um, no, not yesterday, the day before when Kenzie and I came and cleared them. And yeah, as I showed you before, that's all there for now. I know what I'm doing. Oh, you've checked the manual, have you? Excellent job. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, my dear. Much appreciated. I'm going to go and de-stinkify myself. 
um yes i'm not sure what spanners we have it might be a it might be an adjustable one what do you mean it's slightly wonky that doesn't it's not perfect oh i see it's slightly the, the wheel's not completely I had to straight hit it quite a bit Okay, yeah, but when you move it, if you go backwards and forwards, yeah, if you just, if you it doesn't move. rub on the... No, uh, oh, it doesn't good. go... That's good. Excellent. Don't move it. That's really good. Thank yeah, you, my you dear. Give it, give it a spin. Oh, yeah. Give it a spin. I like it. I'm just going to go get the other one in from the back gate. I promise this house is dropped off. That is our back gate. Oh, there. Multiply overnight. Yeah. What was it? How, how do you sex a wheelbarrow? Yes, is it the larger one is the male or is the smaller mm, one? In most things, the larger are the male, so yeah. If we've got three wheelbarrows here it's in not the morning, pull an angler fish and that then would be the male. The, the, that would be the female. Oh, okay. The bigger ones. Well, it depends if that one is. You see, I don't want it to do something like mate and then eat its mate because that would mean we were one wheelbarrow less. That's, I don't need any of that sort of nature Depends going on. how many offspring it has. Yeah, but okay. But there'll be smaller wheelbarrows in the morning. Yeah, I need two big wheelbarrows. I've made a spicy vegetable meal for myself and Brendan. The other two have had... Pop -ball. Oh? Pop -ball. What was that? Pop -ball. Hot dogs. Pop -ball. Hot dogs. <laughs> oh, um, hot dog... <laughs> Hot dog toasties, I believe it was. I forgot to put your feta on it, sorry. That's okay, I put some fresh on it. Okay. The dinner went down really, really well. Brendan loved it. He loves the taste of it, and yeah, he was very pleased with it. Did have a little bit of chicken in it in the end. I threw some chicken from the roast chicken in it yesterday, but the roast chicken we had yesterday in it today. Um, I'm going to go and get this, um, what's it called? It's a tent that goes on the back of... A tailgate tent is what I'm getting out. A Kayam, I think it is, tailgate tent, which I was given and I used on my first camping trip before I got Spog. Um, and I was given it by my sister-in-law's dad. Now, I wasn't sure what to do with it. He gave it to me, but I didn't feel right selling it because obviously it was given to me, but it's worth quite a lot of money. Um mm. But I did actually mention it to my sister-in-law and said, look, is it any use to you with your van? I mean, it might go on the side or it might go on the back because they use sites and stuff. So, like, they're not always while parking. They do like to use sites. So I am going to go and get it out of the cupboard where I stashed it. And um, she's going to take it home with her and see if it's of any use. Um, and if not, then I'll leave it with them because it was actually her dad that gave it to me. So I feel better about, you know, if anyone's going to sell it, they should sell it really. So I'm going to go and rummage through that cupboard. I've got it out. It's a huge, great big bag. So ideally, I don't really want it taking up space when I don't need it to. So I'm going to bring that out and then my sister-in-law can grab that when she picks the other stuff up. Good evening. Good evening. Something weird is happening with my fringe. Well, with my hair in general. I've washed it. And I've straightened it, but this fringe just wants to do curtains rather than come round like, you know, like this comes round. And this should come round. It's, it's just not doing it. It just looks a bit weird. Anyway, um, I think I should finish the vlog. It's been a very bit of this, bit of that type vlog. Um, but it's been a very bit of this, bit of that type day, getting things ready for the big concrete delivery tomorrow. Weather's looking really good, still looking really good. Um, and I'm feeling confident that we are in a position to manage this within the time frame they give you to get all the concrete off the tanker. I've got a few people who have offered to help. We have wheelbarrows. So, yeah, feeling good about it, feeling positive. And I'll be really pleased to just have it done, have that off my mind. And it'll stop waking me up in the night and having me thinking about the fact it's not been done. The other thing that has happened is that whilst we were getting the board out of the shed, we then decided to get the bikes out of the shed because Lee and I are going to cycle the Monsal Trail, I think it is, in Bakewell, you know, through the tunnel, over the, I think it goes over a viaduct, I think. 
So we were getting the bikes out so that Lee could give them a once over to make sure they are, you know, rideable, uh, pumped up tires, that kind of stuff, checking the gears and they're all good. So we pulled all of those out. And of course, now I'm like, well, we've pulled so much stuff out of that shed and it's all in the gazebo that probably, excuse me, tomorrow after the whole concrete thing, at some point in the day, I'm probably going to go through that shed, get rid of some rubbish, sweep it out. And then anything that needs to go to charity, put in the charity uh, pile. But there's things like sledges. And part of me is like, do I keep it in case it snows and I need to do the school run with a little one and I can't push the buggy? I can just sit them in a sledge. Because my boys are not really going to use the sledges now so much. Or will they have a sudden moment of childishness and want to go play in the snow? I mean, they do like the snow. I don't know. And then we've got body boards which again, they're not going to use, but then are they going to use if we take it down to the river? Because Kenzie likes to lay on one. They're like between age, between age, don't know what to do. So yeah, I'm going to go through the shed at some point and I also need to re-roof it because there's a big hole in it. Anyway, for now, I'm going to say goodbye. That's a, that's, that's a, another day me. That's a future me problem. Future me is not going to like me very much because I keep giving future me things to do. Um, so yes, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, thank you for watching and I will see you all tomorrow.